I want food and beverage industry leaders to understand that in today's environment, transparency is no longer optional. Uh, with instant access to information, the consumer's expectation is that I can get the information I want, where I want it, when I want it. And if you don't provide that information to me, then I'm skeptical about your motives and who you are and what you do. So transparency is truly the key to building trust in our products, our processes, our people, and our brands going forward. Well, over the last 45 years, we've been taught to become skeptical of institutions as we've seen violations of public trust from business, from academic institutions, from government, from military, et cetera. And so we've become trained, basically conditioned as a society to be more skeptical about whether or not institutions are worthy of trust. Over that same period of time, we've seen phenomenal consolidation, integration, and application of technology in food, which generally does make it safer, more available, and more affordable, but it also contributes to the perception that food now is in an institution, and therefore, like other institutions, is no longer worthy of public trust. Consumers have told us consistently in both our qualitative and quantitative research that if we increase transparency, we can increase trust. So a lot of companies are still trying to figure out what does transparency mean? We've actually developed a transparency index that measures transparency and provides some very specific step-by-step -step guidance for companies to use when they begin to implement and introduce transparency within their organizations. The key to being successful in this new reality is first of all, making a genuine commitment to be transparent and understanding that that's gonna require some risk and it's going to make us uncomfortable. But to be successful, we're gonna to have to be willing to take that risk and to take that leap of faith. The other thing we know from consumers is if we are more transparent, if we are more engaged in the conversation, they're more willing to give us the benefit of the doubt. If they don't believe we're being open, if they believe we're withholding information, it reinforces their skepticism and belief that we're hiding things and we don't have their best interest at heart. So really being transparent and making a commitment to do that over time is going to be the single most important thing that food and beverage companies can do to continue to earn consumer trust.